Hey, this is Tom Sio and co-founder of Buddy Boss. And in this video, I want to tell you about what we've been up to at Buddy Boss over the last couple of months. And before I get started, I want to start by apologizing for skipping last month's video. In the last couple of months, our team has created over a hundred videos, video tutorials, course lessons, videos for our done for you service and other update videos. Our video team was working overtime and we were forced to skip last month's update video. We're getting back on track now, and I'm excited to tell you all about what we've been up to in the last couple of months. So of course, I will start with the Buddy Boss app as this is the biggest topic right now. When we began doing the pre-launch of the Buddy Boss app, the main idea was to get a clear understanding of how many customers we will need to serve so that we can be prepared to serve them. If we just launched a product without doing a pre-launch, it would be a disaster and our team would not be able to handle all the customers' requests. So back in October, I discussed a timeline with our product team and the message was, we may be able to go live in December, but we're confident we can 100% go live by the end of January. So knowing that things always end up taking longer, I decided to run the pre-launch campaign around the January, February timeline. This gives us until February 28 to go live if there ends up being any delays in the product. But internally, my plan was to get this live in January. And in January, I'm told that we'll need to use up our February padding before we can go live. I was extremely upset about the news because I was under the impression the whole time that the documentation, videos, and final set of product improvements were going to be on time for my January timeline. Now, keep in mind that this is a massive product that we began working on in June 2016. So another month is not that much in the bigger picture. However, I really wanted to launch by the end of January as I had planned everything around that date. On February 28th, the team was ready to launch and we began launching at about 12 p.m. my time. I'm currently in Dubai. We had team members from Vancouver, London, Poland, Serbia, India, the Philippines, and other countries in Asia all working together for about 24 hours to get everything live. Meanwhile, we were stress testing our build system. Now, for those who don't know what the build system is, this is an automated service that we put together that allows you to use our Mac and Linux machines to generate a build of your mobile application. This is the file that has all the compiled code of the app and that ends up being submitted to the app stores for publishing. Having this automated system prevents you from having to go through a number of steps and from having to own an Apple computer. So we're not talking about the actual product. It's not the plugin, it's not the mobile app but it's our automated build system that was not being consistent in building apps when we sent hundreds of builds to it simultaneously. This is the same build system that we had been using and improving over multiple years, but recent changes to the product had caused new issues that the team overlooked. We were there for 24 hours straight, getting everything ready to go live, but we realized that in our build system, some builds worked and some builds didn't. And we started investigating the issue. And as we were doing that, we realized that GitLab, which is the service we use to control our build processes, was not functioning properly. And in fact, their service was down for multiple hours that same night. So for some reason, the launch was just not meant to happen on time. So we were faced with a difficult decision of deciding to either postpone the launch or do a progressive launch and go live with everything that was fully completed and then progressively launch what wasn't fully ready. So we decided to go with this phased launch approach, giving you all access to the plugin so you can start getting familiar with the settings and interface and going through the tutorials, the documentation, and the courses in the Buddy Boss Academy. And then during the month of March, we can progressively launch the build system, the publishing service, and the developer access. We had a nice launch page ready for the celebration with a cool launch video and unfortunately, what we had to do is add another video below it that explained what didn't go as planned. That completely ruined my cool launch page, but I didn't have a choice. So after 24 hours of working on the launch, I prepared a script and I had my video team come film and edit the video so we can get the video live before March 1st and explain to everyone why we couldn't launch all the components on February 28th. We also announced that no subscriptions will be built for the month of March, so no one is paying for this time while we get this component of the product ready. This was a very stressful night, and it wasn't just stressful for me. Keep in mind, the Buddy Boss app team has around 100 people working on this project, and everyone has been working so hard for this launch, and when we realized we had to delay the launch, 
everyone was super upset. Now, I know my teams very well, and I know our developers very well. And I know that not only are they extremely skilled, but they also don't give up so easily. So I've watched our team work pretty much every single day since February 28, with pretty much no breaks. Everyone has been pushing so hard to get our automated system working properly. And while this was being done, other team members took the opportunity to create new automations in the plugin that made things even easier for you, which you'll learn more about when we release the next set of tutorials. The last couple of weeks have been perhaps some of the hardest days for me since I started running BuddyBoss. Because I had promised all of you that we would launch the BuddyBoss app at some point between the month of January and February, and finding out that we couldn't release all the components at the same time on February 28th was very hard for me to accept. But complaining about it to our product team was not going to help. So instead, our team put their hands together and worked super hard to get the issues resolved so we can go live as quickly as possible. And you know, I am super appreciative of all of you. During this time, while we were working on getting this issue resolved, the large majority of our customers chose to patiently wait for our team to get the work done. And they understood how important it was for us to stay focused on resolving this issue. I have seen less than 1% of our BuddyBoss customers complain about the delay, and I just can't thank you all enough for your understanding and your patience while we were getting the work done so we can deliver the BuddyBoss app to all of you. This project is a lot more than just business for me, for Michael, my business partner, and for most of my team. This is a passion. This is a dream. It's also almost five years of my life, of Michael's life, and of many of my team members' lives. My team and I have worked so passionately on this project for years. I'll tell you something I witnessed a few months ago. I won't say his name, but I was discussing the pre-launch with one of our developers, and when he found out about the amount of enthusiasm and interest we had for the product, he started crying. That's how much passion we have in this team. In that moment, he thought about all the thousands of hours he spent developing this product, and that it was soon going to be finally ending up in hundreds of thousands and potentially millions of smartphones. So of course, when we read a negative comment that doesn't accurately reflect the situation, it can hurt quite a bit. But we understand that it's our job to continue to communicate with our customers and to tell you all about what we built and why we built it the way we did. And we're not going to slow down because of a few complaints. Instead, I choose to focus on continuing to make the product the best it can be over the months and years to come. We're here to deliver great products that solve big problems for all of you. So you can in turn be more successful with your own online communities, online courses, memberships, and online businesses. This project was a huge undertaking, and we've taken a very difficult process of creating and launching a native mobile app and made it at least 10 times easier and at least 100 times more cost-effective. And for that, I am super proud of the work my team has accomplished. Over the coming days and weeks, I will be releasing more videos giving you insights on why we built the product the way we did, how we work as a team, and how we deliver our done for you and our publishing service. And I'm sure you'll love it when you have the full picture of how we designed these services to work. Now, after 17 days of hell, the build system is now live. And this means that you can already request app build from your WordPress admin. The request will go to one of our 68 Mac and Linux machines, and the build file will then be generated and sent back to your website. Our build system is now able to generate over 140 builds per hour, so we can handle the load when many of you start requesting builds. We also have put together a DevOps team that will be monitoring our build system 24 seven so that they can react quickly if something goes wrong. And this now means that technically, if you know what you're doing, and if you don't want to wait for our publishing service to go live, you could download the build and submit your mobile app for publishing right at this moment. However, for the large majority of our customers, I strongly recommend to wait for our publishing service to be enabled so we can assist you with the process. Submitting a mobile app for publishing into the app stores is a complicated process, and it can be very frustrating when your app gets rejected because you forgot to include a link to your privacy policy, or because you forgot to mention all the app's features in your app's description, or because you didn't provide the correct credentials for the review team to review your app. There are so many little things that need attention when publishing an app, 
And not submitting all the information needed can delay the app from going live for days and sometimes weeks. Our publishing team will help you through the process in three different steps. Our team will review your mobile app for you so you can have another set of eyes looking through your app to help ensure that everything is in place for a smooth publishing process. Now, we can't guarantee that we'll catch every issue, but this will definitely help ensure things go a lot smoother. Our team will then submit your app for publishing for you. And if there are any rejections or questions from the app stores, our team will explain what needs to be resolved in the app before resubmitting the app for publishing. And you'll have the ability to skip these steps where we provide you with more handholding and just have us work on submitting the mobile app for you. The publishing service will be enabled later this month, and we're excited to start helping all of you through the process of getting your mobile app published into the app stores. I hope this provides a lot more clarity to all our Buddy Boss app customers. And now I'll go over updates on our Done For You app service. The Done For You app service was also started on February 28th. We begin taking responses to the Done For You questionnaires around 10 days before that. And then the team began to work on February 28th. And a week later, we began sending updates to the Done For You customers. I took a look at pretty much everyone's designs and I was so excited to see all these amazing designs come together. And I'd love for the Done For You customers to share your designs with others so they can get inspired by the possibilities. The launch of the branding phase has been going very well, but we couldn't open up the second phase, which is the setup and implementation phase, as it was also dependent on the build system being live. If the build system is switched off, we can't build the apps for you. And we couldn't open up the questionnaire because it was dependent on the related video tutorials to be released. Because without them, our customers would not know how to get us the information we need. So the Done For You team had to wait for the build system and the video tutorials to be released before opening the second and third phase of the service. It's crazy how one issue impacts everything else we're doing. So now that the issue has been resolved, the Done For You service can be fully operational. So by next week, we can expect the Done For You service will be fully operational with phase two and phase three fully open. And later this month, we will enable the custom development feature and the publishing service. And once again, I want to thank you for your patience as we roll out the Buddy Boss app to all of you. The build system is now live and everything is starting to come together and we can finally get the party started. On the Buddy Boss platform and theme site, I know that many of you are wondering what features are launching next and if we expect to delay any of the items on our roadmap. The Buddy Boss theme and platform will continue to be a huge priority for us. And we have a lot planned for these products, including features that we didn't add to the roadmap. Everything starts with the Buddy Boss platform. The platform is the engine for the theme and for the app. And yes, I have to admit, we did get a bit sidetracked in the last two to four weeks with this huge Buddy Boss app launch. What I do know is that when it comes to the major features, the video uploading feature will be ready for release very soon. And the team is also getting ready to release a major update that will improve the privacy controls and performance of the media components. Our management team will be getting together later this month to discuss updates to the roadmap, priorities, and to get full clarity on what we will be launching next. And I'll be providing you with another update shortly after that. And going forward, the development of the Buddy Boss platform will work in sync with the Buddy Boss app so that the new features are also available in the Buddy Boss app shortly after. I hope this video gave you a bit more clarity on what we're up to. At Buddy Boss, we care deeply for our customers and their success. And please don't ever doubt that our team has your best interests at heart. We're building these products with a lot of passion and we're constantly thinking about how we can make things better for all of you. We thank you for your trust in Buddy Boss and we thank you for your patience during the rollout of the Buddy Boss app. We can't wait to see everyone's new mobile apps because that's going to be the real celebration for all of us. Let's get this party started. Hi.